It's that time again, my Devo Tribers, a brand new week where together we get to learn about God's love and how we can be heroes in training for our Heavenly Father. And we're reading from our devotional Heroes in Training. Today is August 28th with the scripture text. Oh, today is a long one. It says, um, see, I have set before you today life and good death and evil in that I command you to keep his commandments that you may live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you in the land and that's from Deuteronomy 30 verses 15 through 16 and the topic is an important decision and it reads Ben and his friends were listening to the radio when they got into an argument about what to listen to Ben got so angry when his friend tried to change the station that, without thinking, he pulled a knife out of his pocket and tried to stab his friend in the stomach. Luckily for both of them, the knife hit the boy's belt buckle instead. Ben was so upset about what he had almost done that he locked himself in the bathroom. He spent several hours reading the Bible and praying and when he came out he was changed he realized that no one makes you angry you have the power with God's help to control the way you act even when you're angry Ben could have blamed others for the way he acted he was from a poor family they lived in the inner city Ben got such bad grades in school he was known as the class dummy but he knew that he was responsible for how he reacted to things. And do you know that Ben was the class dummy who almost murdered a friend? Oh, wow. <sighs> do you know who that person was and who he's become now? That person is Dr. Benjamin Carson, one of the most well-known doctors of our time. He was able to turn his life around because he decided to take responsibility for himself and not blame others. Then he was able to begin using the gifts God gave him. God gives us gifts, yes he does, things that we are good at. God also gives us the responsibility to make choices. To be a hero for God, we need to ask him to help us use our gifts for him and to make wise choices. The Bible tells us that we must, we can get angry, but we should sin not. Who and see how Dr. Benjamin at that time, Dr. Ben, would have committed murder all because of anger, all because of a radio station. Today, let's pray that our Heavenly Father will give us the strength to be angry, but not to sin, not to do something that's going to cause so much pain and so much harsh consequences after. Let's pray. Lord, it's easy to get in our feelings. Yes, it is. It's easy for us to get angry. But Father, in our anger, help us to make the right choices, the choices that will still reflect you. Dear God, so many persons in the world have been angry and they did things that they regret today. Help us that we will learn from this story, that we will learn that our anger will not control us, O oh God. And that our anger should not be something that dictates how we act. Father, give us the strength to rely on the strength that comes from you, especially when we get angry. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. My Diva Tribers, this is a very important devotional today. To be angry but to sin not, to make the right choices. Yes, indeed. Let's be that hero today that knows how to control our anger. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.